Air Force, and uh, when uh, I had already graduated high school, so I knew my time was coming, so I started uh, checking with the Navy and the Air Force, and it turns out that uh, the Air Force was a better deal for me, so that's the way I went. I was in uh, tech school in Keesler, Mississippi, and got my assignment, and it was to Taiwan, and I'd never heard of Taiwan before, but one of the instructors over there said, you're going to one of the best kept secrets in the world. So when I went home and leave, I opened up the encyclopedia to try to find out where I was going, and I pictured myself with a typewriter in the middle of a rice field. But that's not the way it was, of course. I was in Taiwan, first assignment, like I said, and clothes are very cheap in Taiwan, and they're all tailor-made. So I was downtown, and I happened to go in this one particular tailor shop, and Sue, is the one that was taking care of me at the time. So that's how I first met her. I was born in Taiwan, Nanto Xian Guo Xinjiang. When I first met Wang, he's, he's good looking, he's different, you know, blonde hair, you know, blue eye. I think his future very nice. Tall, you know, uh, look at very nice guy. He, he just a friendly look, friendly attitude, you know, attitude. This is my first time overseas. It was Taiwan. Luckily for me, it was Taiwan. And she was just a very beautiful young lady, very nice, and just very attractive, very nice personality. A few days later, I went back, you know, because she was, you know, she did all the measurements and was making things for me, so I went back to pick it up. I met her about three months after I had first arrived in Taiwan. So from then on until I left Taiwan, so maybe about a year and a little bit more. Once I uh, found out I was being reassigned, uh, we get our assignments maybe two months, three months in advance. So we just continued on like we were, but then the closer we got to the day that I was gonna be leaving, I started thinking to myself, you know, I'm leaving her behind. And what I recommended for anybody is if you're leaving somebody and you're in a vehicle, do not turn around and look at that person. Because she was crying, made me start crying, like I'm going to start now. So just don't do that. But I knew I'd miss her. When I realized I love him, I never realized I love him because I was young. You know, I was 18, 16 May and 18. Over there, you know, you young, you don't plan to say marry America, all that. And, and, and get to, uh, then I didn't realize because the whole time I know I love him, I know I like him, but you don't think about it. But until he left Taiwan, all that, you begin to miss him. Mr. Hin, you wish he could come by, he's here, you know, he's a wonderful guy, you know. While I was stationed in California, Vandenberg Air Force Base, I realized it wasn't too long after I had been there because we kept in constant contact. And I said, I have to get back with this young lady. This is my future. So, uh, so, Within a few months, I was contacting her and we were working it so she can get her visa, passport, and everything else and come over. It was all through written correspondence because it was very difficult to talk to her over the phone or anything because she was in Taiwan. The story on a bus is, uh, like I say, yeah, in the morning, that's exactly. a 10 to 9, And you started running, no. and I was waving, you were waving, and that's when no, I no, said... No, no, you're wrong. Uh, no, Okay, I even remember is. you say the bus, and you say in the left side. That's right. Then across, it's my store, Taylor exactly. store. I stand in front of Taylor store, Judy on the side. Hey, look at the chips game. And remember you he guys talked, started talked, running. Talked, I didn't and run. you were waving. Well, I just walk and say, hey, hi, hi. Yeah, that, exactly, it. see? 
That's not running. That's so very hard. That's that's when it's I decided. Running. Hey, I it's have to walking. pursue this. I didn't see you. She saw you first. That's fine. She said, "Look at that T-shirt." I said, "Oh, I, I look at it. Oh, hi, hi. I go like that." See, if so, you hadn't waved, we wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. So you come in, die night. Exactly. So that's the story.